Well, I felt like making something else from Brawl Stars, and I felt the best thing to make was Leon. The brawler that I got on my first day playing from a legendary star drop. To start this, I make an armature out of some paper clips. I do, I do use two paper clips, which are basically the same, just mirrored, and I connect them at the torso area with some aluminum foil. This aluminum foil is wrapped around, and then just kind of pushed in to make sure that it doesn't really come apart very easily. And then it gets covered in a base layer of the torso color, that being green, and bakes so that I can keep messing around with it in a more solid fashion. Once I have the legs slightly bent, I can add the dark navy blue to the pop top part of the legs in order to give the shorts. This is just given a slight indent in the middle, then kind of twisted up in order to make more pants-like shapes, and then pushed in to make sure that it's actually shorts-like. After that, I add the skin tone right on the rest of the legs, right below the shorts, add in a little foot, cut it to size, and then add in a knee. Just kind of push it in until it looks right. Once that's all done, that just kind of gets pushed into the ground to make sure that it's the proper uh, angle. And then it just gets repeated once again, pushed in for a foot, and then the knee is pushed in as well. Once I have both of the legs done, I can bake that and start working on something else. That something else being, well, no, actually, it's not done because I have to wrap another piece of navy around the shorts to make sure that it's actually above the legs in a proper sense and also to just get better shape. This is blended into the rest of the navy blue. And after it's blended into the navy blue, I'm going to wait until I see what happens because I completely forgot what happened if I'm moving with Uh, Yeah, so this just gets blended in, blended in, yeah, and then just kind of shapes. And then it gets baked, and I finish up what I was doing with the armature before by just cutting off the top half and covering the torso in a base layer of green clay so that I can just mess around with it and shape the hoodie into the proper shape. Once the torso, once the torso has a base layer of green, I can start to mess around with it by first adding a little a uh, flat sheet of clay all around the bottom half of the torso in order to make it look more like a oversized hoodie. This gets blended into the rest of the green and only the green, and then made to be the proper shape, that being, well, just kind of a raindrop shape on the front, and then I start working on the arms, which are a similar raindrop shape, just a lot skinnier. This gets pushed to the correct size, and a slight indent is made in the front so that I can stick in some of the skin color as wrists, because there are no hands in this design. This skin color gets pushed in, the elbow gets bent, and this gets attached to the arm. However, the top of the arm needs to be blended in, so I changed up my method on the second time to start with this procedure that is currently on screen. After that, everything gets bent into the proper place, and once it's all bent, squished, molded, it just gets kind of duplicated and mirrored and flips all the stuff on the other side, except slightly faster because now I know what I'm doing. Once this is done, I get to bend the elbow and place it right next to the other arm in the same shape, blending in the uh, skin tones together because why not? and then making the proper back shape because it was different than how I originally made it. There's a little dip in the middle. After that, I add a little small worm of orangish yellow to the bottom part, and then just kind of indent it a lot. Like a lot, a lot, I guess. I don't know. If, once that's done, I can add a blue rectangle a very thin blue rectangle as the pocket of the hoodie. This wraps around where the skin tone was for the wrists, and then I add a little zipper spot because there's a, a zipper. After this, I start to add in a type of kind of like a neck, and then I just kind of add in a, a head. I just kind of squish out a circle, make it a decent shape, and blend in the head to the neck, place it back on its stump, I guess. And then once that's all done, I can add a worm around the neck in order to solidify its position. 
and also to make sure that the hoodie is actually above the neck and not below the neck because that just doesn't make logical sense. Once this is all blended together, well with its own colors, I can add in a slight mouth because if I were to bake the head without adding a mouth, then I can't add a mouth. This just gets pushed in, then a little bit black is inserted to make it look a little bit deeper than it actually is. That black is then squished in and made somewhat flat, and then I add a white worm for teeth. Once I have the teeth, I can add some hairs, which is, which is, you know, red. Well, vermilion, I guess. This is pushed uh, pretty low onto the head and turned into two separate pieces of hair. And once this is done, I can add some translucent pink, followed by a somewhat tannish uh, stick for the lollipop. And once that's done, I make a little base so that I can, you know, have it stand, forgot to record it and such. Then I'll make a rectangle of the green very very long rectangle and curl it up in order to make the chameleon tail then i add some black uh some black worms in order to have the connectors that are shown connecting it to the rest of the hoodie on the actual design and just kind of blend that all in there so that it doesn't fall off which it did after this i just made a large sheet of green clay and attached it to the bottom of the head and it had it wrap all the way over the head now, once I had it on the bottom part, I just kind of squished it all the way over to the top of the head in order to make sure that there was an actual hood over the top of the head. Once this is all done, I can work on positioning everything onto the hoodie and blending that in so that there's no obvious gap between the hoodie and the hood itself. After I have that done, I can start bulking out the hood where I think bulks need to be taking place. And I start with the two sides, not extending over to the back, and blend those right into the rest of the hood in order to give it that, that good shape. This is copied over to the other side, as most things are, and then just kinda, you know, keep going, keep blending in, making sure that all the green is connected to the green. And once that's all done, I can begin to work on, you know, just continuing to blend, and then I work on the little, you know, extension of the hood on the back part. To do this, I just get a little ball of clay, squish it on one side, and attach it to the back of the head, and just blend that all in. Once it's blended in, I can just, uh, is basically uh, good with bulking out the hoodie, and I can add a little strip of clay onto the front part in order to, you know. Oh wait, no, I'm adding the black. That well, I'm adding the shadow of the hood onto the face because it felt weird, and I felt that I needed to a reason that the eyes weren't there. Then I add a little extra to the front of the hood to just kind of keep the face in a little bit more shadow. This gets blended into the rest of the green, as always, and after that's done, well, just kind of, you know, blend it, keep blending it in. After that's done, there I add the flat yellow piece across from the middle part portion of the hood in order for the chameleon color scheme to, car to start coming through. This just kind of gets pushed on there without fully blending it in. And after this one is done, I add a little bit of yellow onto the front because the hood itself on the actual design has the front parts kind of raised up a little bit. This gets blended in on both sides while still making it obvious that it is in fact there and bulking out the edge of the hood a little bit. And then the green it gets added onto both sides as almost always. And once these is added to both sides, that's pretty much everything for like shaping the hood itself. And once the hood is all shaped, I can add the two button eyes for the chameleon, which is just circles with indents in the center. And then the, after there are indents in the center, I add two black worms in an X shape. These get placed on either side on the front part of the white line, the, the yellow line. And then the black X's made out of the worms get added into the middle of the indent. Once the black X's are added, I can add the zipper, 
which is first just a light worm where the two pieces of the of the hoodie on the bottom part are right next to each other, a large flat piece, and then a little triangle on the upper part of that. And with that, it's done. <laughs>